Hey guys, I'm back here with another video. I've been plugging along. I've kind of been waiting on some measurements, parts, stuff like that. So I'm kind of going to walk you through what I've done. But right now, I just wanted to show you guys. So these fenders are kind of cut for this car. And I'll bring the camera around here in a minute. But um, it was rotted. So I'm just kind of showing you a, a quick, uh, proper way to repair some of these panels. So what I did is I made a panel that lays on existing on the top, okay, before I cut it. And it has to be a little bit longer because it rotted away and stuff like that. So, and I've got to get myself into a good material so I can weld. So what I did is I picked a point on a straight line and I measured from that point over and added how much I thought I needed or how much I measured on the car. Then what I did is I took this piece of sheet metal and I laid it on top. And I put it on my line where I want it. I clamped it down and I scribed it real well. I take it off and I cut off the existing stuff. And if you cut right to your scribe line, my new material will lay in there. Now that I've got fresh good metal and fresh old metal, there's no rust in between, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna TIG weld it. And then I'll planish it with a hammer and dolly, smooth it all out and it'll be a new piece of material in here where I need it. So, I'll show you the panel of what I'm doing. Okay, so, in the video, like I said, so I picked a point and I overlaid this piece. So I, I was gonna start with a two inch piece and it tapers to an inch and a half up here. So what I ended up doing is I clamped it down where I wanted it on my particular point, scribed it, took it off, and I cut off the existing. You could see it was pretty chafed up, it was hacked on, stuff like that. So what I ended up doing is once I cut this out and everything's been cleaned up, my new piece lays in there perfect, as you can see. Then I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna TIG weld this and planish it with a hammer and a dolly, grind it off, and it'll look like the stock fender. But that's what I'm working on. And then obviously I got more rust and stuff that I've got to repair on the Jaguar. So this is what I've been doing. It's been time consuming. So I had to build both of these. And since I did this side, I was doing this side, I ended up doing both. So as you can see, it's a flat plate. You guys think that is, I'm gonna show you the other side. Not only that, I had to put wood inside. Uh, thanks to Brian Knight for confirming that for me. So. I went and got some birch wood, used my paper template, cut off all the bins where I needed it, and that was my insert. Then what I did is I could bend this edge over, but what the problem's gonna be with, with the wood in there, it's gonna be, it's not gonna look good. So what I ended up doing is cutting, cutting the flange off that I had. I left this one top one, but I cut it here on this edge. Then what I ended up doing is shrinking and stretching a, a, a piece that's three-eighths wide to fit really well. And then I ended up tacking it. And then I welded it all the way out. I just fused it and then I ground it. So the wood is locked in nice and tight with it. It burned the wood a little bit, but it gives it a lot better finish. As you guys can see, it's a perfect half inch gap. The wood's in there and it's locked in by that. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the other side. <clears throat> so I was doing everything, I guess you'd say mirror image. That's why I've kind of been so busy. As you can see, this side's the same way. So this is what that box entailed. Nothing square in it. It's all angled to a point. This kind of looks like it's square, but if you stand back, you can see this is pitched back. That's factory. So I had to figure out all these angles, and then I had to mirror image them and get it to that point. So this panel was the same. I had to replace this side, but I didn't have to put a one inch lip back here because this was all nice solid metal. And then on this side, you guys can see, I just seamed it, I weld seamed it right there on that bend, but this side got the same treatment. So that's what I've been working on. And then when I was doing the woodwork, I figured I'd end up doing the boot lid cover. So it's out of wood, I have it latched right now. So <clears throat> what I ended up doing on this panel is I took a set of dividers, after I got my wood to fit, and I gave myself about an eighth inch leeway on each side, all the way around. 
You lay a piece of aluminum out and you figure out your gap on the set of dividers as a scribes and you scribe all the way around the panel. This particular side, the fr this front and this side had to bend, that was a total of one inch overhang from, my, from up right up against the wood. The rest of it has a half inch. That's the way the factory was. And then I put it in the bead roller and I started my flange. So it gave me this nice crisp line to get all the way around. Once I got it all the way around and I got it pretty close and I fitted everything, I went over to the brake and I bent this one first. That was my straight edge. That's what the wood plywood's gonna go up against. From that point, what I ended up doing is hammering over the first 90 all the way on the wood. And I had it clamped to a flat surface so it couldn't bow, kind of like a hammer forming. And I got that. When I got done with that, then I came back with it clamped down still and I beat over the second edge. And I'm gonna show you what it basically looks like. This is the factory one. But as you can see, see how there's an edge? Mine looks just like that. There's no edge on the back or nothing like that or on the sides. It's just on these angles and on the very front. So that's what I was making. The factory one is a little beat and battered, so I made a fresh one there. This one here that came with this other panel, it did not fit anything. So it's going to stay with that particular boot tail right there. And... It can go wherever it's gonna go. But I'm making a little bit of progress. Like I said, it's, it's time consuming to do some of this stuff, but I was doing woodwork of all things just because it makes my shop a mess. So I figured I'm gonna knock out all the wood. So I got that tedious stuff done. I got these done. What I'm waiting for is to basically weld all this stuff in. And the reason why is I'm trying to get this measurement from across the top contacted a guy in New York. Hopefully he reaches out to me restoring a XK140. And then I may even wait for that. If I can't get a measurement, I could figure it out because once I get the bulkhead from Martin and Roby, it'll bolt on. Once it bolts on, I'll hang the doors and I'll hang the doors to get my door gap. Once I get that, then I know that where that lands and this lands, this is where this is gonna ride. If this gap is a little tight, I may have to loosen up all the body bushings and kind of shift this thing side to side. But I think I'll get it figured out, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the progress of it. It's moving along. It's a lot of metal repair, but, and it's a lot of goofy angles. This fender I already did, but it's gonna have to get sandblasted because there's more rod in here or I can just grind it off. But I figured I'd start on this fender because it won't stay held up in the wheel well. So I'm going to start on this, get this done and planished, and I'll show another video of this finished and all the, the rust repair finish. So hope you guys are kind of following along. I know it's, I haven't been, um, I guess you'd say pretty adamant about posting a video. I've just been kind of gangbusters because if you watched another one of my videos, I am leaving next week to go to Detroit with another car and then from there I come home for a day and I'm in Chicago for a week at the World of Wheels. So I'm just trying to hammer down and get as much progress as I possibly can. So when I come home, the bulkhead should be here and I should be able to move forward on this car. So you guys stay tuned. If you guys like what you're seeing or you guys have any questions, shoot me some comments. I appreciate every guy, all you guys reaching out, trying to get measurements and stuff for me. Um, still don't have them. I'd appreciate them if we got them, but if not, I'll figure it out once I get to Bulkhead. Stay tuned, and I'll have some more videos coming your guys' way. Thanks.